Hello comrades, so we are right where we left off and we will start today easy with our first coal mine. <laughs> At least we plan it. <laughs> okay, good. As I said, I want to get a little bit rid of the uh, mud offices. So I built a little construction service area here. Uh, plan it. <laughs> yep. Um, let's keep our COs busy. Yeah, they are all assigned to the right things. Good. Good. And let's jump to the city. So first thing I need to know is where is all the coal <laughs> in the world? Yeah. We need to export massive amounts of coal for this season to work. And we have coal right in front of us, which is very nice, which I choose to pick up uh, where we left off last season. And another nice coal... Oh, here's also coal mode. This here. Oh, I'm looking at a totally wrong thingy. Yeah, no. So... This mountain ridge here, this is also interesting because here are a lot of opportunities to dig out coal. And um, here is another nice thing, which is um, a border post with a single rail line, but also a border post with a double rail line, a uh, triple. <laughs> yeah. So here, and then next thing which is quite nice is it's right next to our existing operation which is here so a uh, long term or middle term <laughs> we will plan out another city we will leverage our rail business which currently does not exist and build some coal mines here at the ridge um another nice would be here but yeah and worse access to the border, access to the border, which is not good. So yeah, more inland means more time, more time we maybe don't have. Uh, same goes for here, which is a really juicy oil mount, uh, coal mount. <laughs> Stop thinking about oil, coal mountain. And uh, the border is here. You, we need to go through the alley. Mm -hmm. Which will also be a good opportunity if we are finished with uh, the expansion of the Long Mountain Ridge to do something here. Yeah. So I like the plan because it's pushing me forward and pushing me towards expansion and meaningful expansion and not just build stuff to build bigger and <laughs> uh, crazy rail systems. Don't get me started. Okay. So. We need some flattening crew. Give me a roll depot. Road depot. Let's place it like here. And give me a road crew. Flattening. And uh, Comrade Stalinek. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, good. Let them come. So, how is our city up to? Our city is good. Um, we have a lot of people, 3,300. Uh, population is growing nice and steadily. Let's give me all. Yeah. So, they are going on. There will be a death wave from the initial imports or a flattening of the curve, but it's okay. We have 190 ex escapes. The escapes amount to, uh, at the start, we have a little heating issue. <laughs> but the later escapes amount to if somebody lands in the prison, there's kids. So the kids will escape. Which is a shame. Um, yeah. 
We can counteract it if we create an orphanage, but the orphanage has its own problems. You need to buy, uh, create a lot of orphanages. So I um, made a little calculation and test, and you need 5% uh, of your population in orphanage space. So here we need 150 spaces for orphans, more or less. I always uh, take the higher number. Um, if it goes lower, it's no problem. But if you are too low, it's a problem. In the orphanages, especially because you get crappy people. So, yeah. This one didn't get the call. Okay. I think my construction offices are full. So I... Uh, start to restructure my construction industry, which is here. Mm. Can go on double speed for the moment. Um, just a whole simple block of construction and um, here we have digging out some gravel and processing the gravel, creating um, the industry we need. And I want, I always like it if I have a central bus stop where everything goes to everything and everybody is happy, basically. And people are running here, so let's prioritize this one, maybe. And assign it. Mm. Okay. So, um, I like to have my central bus station, which deals with everything as much as I can, because it's easier to scale up. I simply buy bigger buses or buy more buses, and I will feed everything here in this vicinity. Yeah. Have a stable construction office set up with uh, asphalt and concrete plant, uh, bitumen storage. Concrete plant does not need any storage. I will come to it if it's finished. Yeah. So... At least if you are close to the border, you need no storage. Okay, they're refueling. Nice. Good. So, little changes also here. I replace... Uh, there are two substations near each other, which are useless. So, I built one substation which feeds this area and uh, can get rid of these two. Have one spare. Export business is running okay. If you want to expand, uh, we maybe need to do something with the bridge because there can be no crossing under the bridge for our esteemed boats. Yeah. So the oil business, uh, let's check it out. If we can assign something or how it, how it goes. Oh, here's silence. They are working maybe for my puppy pumps. Okay, let's start to decommission some of the pumps, so, for example, you, ah, let, give me a road depot. What you see here is mainly service buildings. And also a usual road depot. You go out of commission. Thank you. Okay. And you are out of commission. You're still in service. I destroy the pumps because the placement of the pumps is not optimal for our further development. So, uh, like I said, uh, this episode maybe not. <laughs> I need like 10 pumps here for this to run at 10% roundabout, which is easy to make. And I don't want to export the he heck out of this business, but I want to have a stable income because income we need, because everything we do is crash the economy which doesn't generate me any income. <laughs> it's a little bit of a conundrum, but yeah. Should be a challenge, right? Yes. Okay. The pump is ready. It's on high priority. 
Everything is coming. Okay. All working on it. It's nice. Are you a Sige? Yes, you are. Okay. Good. So I want to have this pump ready so this pump can go, go online at the moment. I pull in more oil than I can produce because of crappy workforce. Yeah, could be more. I pull in with buses from both sides, from both borders and uh, still have only 30 to 50 people. And uh, one foreign worker is, let's say, 60 to 70 percent efficient as a as a domestic worker. So the time goes faster here, the working time. Uh, a domestic worker stays at least one minute, one and a half minute at the job, and he, oh, one and a half minute, and he stays maybe one minute at the job and goes away. So it's yeah, thirty percent less productivity you get out of them roundabout every worker is different and everyone has its own productivity and happiness okay good so our crew is ready we go on pause so we don't uh, pay for flattening <laughs> yeah. okay so let's prospect this mountain here the biggest uh the biggest coal, no oil, Dennis. The biggest coal reservoir is uh, on the top of the mountain. I think most of you know this, who have played this game, but at the uh, edge of the mountain, there are also nice reservoirs. But I want the biggest and baddest, which is here. And if you place it right, it will yield you 70%. The problem is it's on the top of the mountain. So let me see flatten this plateau Road tool. It's faster because it's more pointy, and I think uh, my excavators are working now well. If you make a plateau, you usually use your bulldozer. Okay. Off you go. Okay, this will be fun. Um, it has the ridge to go down, and here we have a little plateau to do our coal business, and I think here will be the export side of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But first we start with the coal mine, because it takes a, quite a long time to build, and um, always build a thing which takes the longest time so it's our 70 percent mine i want uh, such a high yield because i have limited access to workers the the town is basically full hmm. footpath is at the back side and the footpath will be important for the future so if we build something like this one, maybe not happy. So things to consider is how to get the road out, how to get the people in and how to get 70%.
because that's why we are here. Give us a little bit of time. so good next we need to get down of this ruddy thing the thing is with the slope of the road tool um, it makes a slope which is not the maximum slope which is allowed it's fine because it creates a reasonable slope and not a crazy slope, but I want these crazy slopes to get out of this mountain. So it's a little bit conflicting here, my interests. Let's see. Just gobbly gook. Can we go from here? Okay, starting to look a little bit more friendly. very gentle so we can get a green one and not try to bulldoze the whole planet building in mountains and not losing your mind is the art form in itself in this game The road tool is nice, but it gives you <laughs> too little of a slope. We want a brutal slope and not a, you know, road tool like slope. saved ourselves the trip from one mountain to another. Let's see. Oh, it's not nice. I want 
to go here. So I go here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the game tries its best to make make little adjustment to the terrain to make your work, uh, your road work. It will be still a terrible road. Like you see here. We can fix the worst offenders, but uh, fixing can also make it worse. So, so, so. Further on, we trot. Mm. Thank you. Guess who's in the way? Yeah, you are in the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can go on speed. Adventure right done. So this one I will not touch. Mm. Let's see. All goes down, 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 down. Maybe we can repair a little bit this one. In the sense of not making it totally ugly. want to but I rather don't touch you because I will run into endless problems with you. Roller coaster. Let's relocate my crew because they're really in the way. Get you here. What? No. Yes. Should be reachable. Don't lie to me. Oh. Okay. Thank 
thank you. Good. Next big thing is how to get people in. <laughs> and I want people in via the cable cars. And the point of thinking is where do we have our cable car station and what do we do with the coal? And this one is also, because of the terrain, a little bit more nuts to crack. Here I have a little area which is nice. Because I want to have some coal processing also. So, so, so. We have some. Uh, where's our cable car business? Yep. Okay. For passengers, we have this one. So, let's say we put you in like. Like here. Somewhere like here. Just for a point of reference. Okay, then we need from here to there to go. Oh. Okay. Out, out. I want, yeah, this one and extend you. Yes, we go underground, baby. Let's point you this way. Hope for the best. Good. Now we need to have a tunnel. Uh, now we need to have a tunnel. No. Now we need to have... Where's my tunnel? Now we need to have a tunnel. Okay. So the mountain adventure tunnel. Where can you go out? You can, you can come out here. What is this? Why? Want you down, not up. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. What? Where? You like me? Come on. See your problem. Hmm? Just a little bit break the surface. Um, yes. Want to break the surface here? I don't know if I can come. Let's see. Still not completely madness. Can do. Okay. Good. So we have our little adventure tunnel to the coral mine. 
How much how much meters do we have here to cross? Hey. A little bit longer. <laughs> no. At max 200, so it should easy fit. Should be an easy fix. Fit. Good. Nice. I could even. Should I? What are the lines? Make the station a little bit lower, but I think. It's sitting nice here. <laughs> Except I cannot go out. Um. Okay. Let's blow you up. So, we have a gold mine, we have a way to get our people here in, and we have some room for processing and some other shenanigans, and yeah, then we have some room here for the loading business. Good. So, I think this is a good point to stop, it's a little bit problematic. Ah, here's the first pump ready, here are the first roads ready, which is nice. Them see here, here. You wanted to stop, Dennis. I know. Um, this one, yes. Loading is ready. Good. So we can do this one. Okay, they are all busy doing their thing. Oh, the processing plant also takes shape. Nice. As some people access, I think here this road already is working. We can create this one. Yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about you. These? Okay, these are only need. These do only need people. And not so much workforce, I think. Yeah. A couple of buff buses will do the trick. Okay, nice, nice. So this, this area is coming along. Good. Oh, concrete plan also. Concrete plant. Assign you. Make a road to the asphalt. Nice. Good, 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 good. You need assignment. Okay. What about you? I think you need people. People you get. Okay. Yeah, here I wait with the people, I think, because my people have enough jobs at the moment okay good so next episode we will start with the um, road and set up a, a little bit more in the mine business and hopefully yeah 
start with the rail plank. This episode was mainly to get ourselves situated in the new reality of things. <laughs> Here they are also starting their work. Let's help them a little bit. My construction office is from here. You all jump on this. This. Okay. Good. Whoa! <laughs> it's full. Okay. No workers. Not good. Now uh, we... Okay. You get a new home. Good. So pump is there. This one is missing. Yeah. Let's see what... Okay. You are going out of commission. You not. Let's give you the out of commission order. Go here is the last stop. The nice thing is because I said to them uh, extend the line to a dep depot, they get empty there. So this is why I put them this way out. Okay, but refinery is working. Good. That's nice. Ah, here's a electric line to here. Also well and needed. Okay, okay. Good, good. So, <laughs> next attempt to close the episode, comrades. See you next time and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao.